Right, hello everybody, Retro Gamer JL78 back again, and in this week's video, I'm showing you how to set up and play some classic DOS games via DOSBox. Now, you can get the DOSBox program from DOSBox.com, and it's available, if I just uh, zoom in on my screen, for Windows, uh, FreeBSD, Fedora, Gentoo Linux, uh, Source Code, Mac OS X, OS2 Watt, which is IBM. Risk OS, which is Archimedes, uh, Debian, Solus, B BOS, and older DOSBox versions. Right, so I've downloaded it for the Macintosh, and I've installed it to my applications folder. So I've just went there and dragged that to there to install it. Now on my users folder, I presume this would be the same for Windows, it would be under your, your name, username. And Tango Mike 062, I've installed a folder called DOS. Now what I did was right click, new folder, and called it DOS. And there we go, there's a DOS folder. And there's my games that I've added. So Alley Cat, Blood, Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, Grand Theft Auto, and Screamer. Now you can get uh, various different games from... Let's have a look at DOS games. This game, zoom in. DOS games and you've got dosgamesarchive.com, dosgames.com. I'll link some of these in the descriptions below. And you can, yeah, DOS Games Archive, loads and loads of games on here. And actually, all you do is you download the game once you've downloaded the game. So, for example, I downloaded Grand Theft Auto, so it downloads GTA, where are we? GTA 8, where was that? That one. I unzipped it and literally just dragged it to the folder, the DOS folder. And that's basically the game installed. Then you have to go through the usual install setup and whatever. You. So what I'll do, I'll load up DOSBox and we'll show you some of the classic games in action. Catch you in a sec. Right, the DOSBox is now set up and it says there set blaster A equals 220, D or I7, sorry, D1, H5, T6. Don't worry about that. It's just telling DOSBox that it's going to emulate a Sound Blaster card. You don't have to put any of that in. It does it automatic, automatically for you. So what we need to do is mount that DOS folder as a virtual drive C. So I'm going to type in mount. C space tied space full slash DOS. It says drive C is mounted as a local directory. Users stroke Tango Mike 062. So I go to drive C now and CD DOS, defective operating system. And we bring a directory up, and you can see there's the games we've added. So Alley Cat, Blood, Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, GTA, and Screamer. Now I've already gone in and installed all these games and um, configured all the sound and that sort of stuff, so we're just ready to go. So we do a CD Doom, and then Doom. We can play some classic Doom. So I'm going to press the escape key and load new game. Do that one. And we can even do the cheat as well. So I D K F A. And we've got a very happy ammo added. So select uh, weapon number five and let's kick some ass. Go, just killed him. You don't have to aim towards the enemies. Just like that. I shot the shot the shot the ceiling there, and the bloke died. None of this aiming rubbish you kids do on Call of Duty. This is real game, and this is Doom, classic DOS game at its finest. I had this running on my A1200. Admittedly, it was running about 10 frames a second, but the point is the game did run. There's a new board coming out for the 1200 called a Vampire 2, which gives it a massive speed boost and 1 gig DDR3 RAM. So as soon as that comes out, I should be doing a video, installing it and looking at some classic games. So here we are, we've just done the first level. So I can push the escape key, I can quit the game, and it will bring us back to DOS. 
So now, if those who remember the DOS commands, you can do a CD dot dot, which brings us back to the original prompt. And I can do a DIR again, directory. Let's look at Duke Nukem 3D. CD Duke 3D Tide 1. And Duke 3D. And push A because I'm using the default configuration. For some reason, there's two configuration files on this when I downloaded the game. So, new game, LA Meltdown. Let's, Let's rock. rock. Damn, those alien fans are doing a pay for shooting up my ride. Yeah. And it says alien scum. Nintendo didn't want the swearing in their games for some reason. There we go. Up there. Up there again. Let's try again. Up there. Up there. Give it one more go. Up. Up again. Go secret place and we'll get the Don't RPG. Get yeah, let's rock. Let's change that back to weapon number two. Go through here, and there should be another secret place. We get some ammo for the RPG. Call it the old grainy photograph of that bird. Might be a flock that to someone. Oh. Let's change the weapon again. Bar, drink water and get the old health up. Let's look at a few more classic DOS games. So we're going to quit this game and say yes. And we do a CD dot dot and we do a CD GTA. We'll look at the original Grand Theft Auto from 1997. Quite it's new, 20 years old this game. So run game. Again, I've configured all the sound sound on this. So I'm going to go play. Of course, the old top down view around the door. So I'm going to take the car. I'm going to stick it on the railway line. Now, back in the day, I never used to play this game properly, I used to just muck around. It used to be a lot more fun. Trying to find someone and run them over. Now, run them over the van. Pick up truck. Oh. oh, I'm going to find them. Run over to Harry Krishna's. game I could spend hours playing this game hours and hours and hours just mucking around seeing what damage I can do so let's quit this one and look at one more game this game's even older the one we're gonna look at now 
and this is from 1984 so we can do CD dot dot and CD alley cat and cat <laughs> oh god listen to the sound look at the graphics right do I want a joystick? No. Now, uh, you kids don't know what joysticks are. You're still on this control pad rubbish. So, I'm going to go that one. Look at it. It's all pink. CGA. I'm not sure what you got to do actually on this game. I, have to, I thought I had to collect the washing in, but obviously I don't. Oh, I've got to collect the, the, the cat, the, the mice that are stationary. Right, there was a look at DOSBox and how to play classic games on a Macintosh. I've been Retro Gamer JL78. I'll say cheers and beers, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next week for another video. Cheers and beers. Bye, bye, bye.